See your hand out like this, tuck it in. Saddle Up started 18 years ago on a tiny little farm over in Seminole with about 20 kids. Trot, eyes up, smile, push. And very quickly grew um, out of that property there and moved to Pinellas Park. We, I think, had up to 100 children at that time, started doing horse shows and um, you know, started a 4-H club, started doing that angle also to bring kids in and, and learn more and more about the educational aspect of horses. In the 18 years that we've been in business, we have had to move properties five times now. From this one property, we moved to another, and that was in 2009, I believe. And that is when we started then reaching out to the disabled community, offering equine therapy to children, adults, and veterans. Come on, Einstein. We've had many, many hurdles over, as you know, as I explained, over the last uh, 18 years. But this is finally one that I think is is at the point where uh, we don't really have an answer for it. The property that we're on is up for sale. Unfortunately, because of the selling situation, the owner of the property has decided it's best for us to vacate while they are putting it up for sale. So we have to be off the property here on August 31st. Well, we've, a lot of us have figured out in the last couple days here uh, searching around because a lot of my horses are owned by other kids um, in the area that are, you know, they put them here and I use them in my programs and discount and stuff like that and made it affordable for them to have horses. There really isn't a lot of stables in the area that have space. I mean, we're really struggling to find a place to put our, you know, 12 plus horses um, to stick together. So really what we're looking for is anybody that has a, a number of stalls or or even just a, a bit of property that would allow us to kind of hunker down and stick together. In this area, it's really, really hard to find a youth-centered place. Um, you know, there's a lot of different barns around here that do a lot of different services, but none of them really speak to the youth of the community. Push your head and neck away from you. Anybody with troubled homes or different things like that can come out here and find a place to just kind of be with the horses and use it as a therapy. And I think that's the biggest thing that I want to see continue is a lot of my kids, I want to have a place for them to continue to call home outside of their home. Really the, the bottom line is um, Saddle Up Riding Club itself, the, you know, the entity, the organization we started 18 years ago with the concept of teaching children, you know, all these positive character traits is done. I mean, the, the doors of that will close on August 31st, you know, and um, we'll close that chapter of our life. We are hoping that, you know, maybe we could keep the lesson program going, the 4-H, and a little bit of the therapy program going if we could find somewhere to be able to move our horses and the, the children who board with us, our 4-H club, mainly their horses.